The World Games are coming in July of 2022. Sumo, softball, lacrosse, sport climbing, powerlifting, and more. This is the new generation of sports. Tickets are on sale. Buy today at TWG2022.com. Hey, it's Scott Martin with your weather video for the morning of July 10th, 2021. There is not going to be much change to the forecast as scattered showers and storms will be possible on each day. Here's what I have for you in today's video. Both days for the weekend will feature a decent bit of sunshine to start, but with a very moist atmosphere in place across the southeast, showers and thunderstorms will fire up during the afternoon to the early evening hours across central Alabama. An upper level low will develop over the area on Saturday that will help the convective development. While no widespread severe weather is expected, don't be surprised if we get a storm or two to briefly go severe with strong downdraft winds or some hail up to one inch in diameter. Highs will be in the mid 80s to the lower 90s on both days. With a trough over the southeastern states, overall rain chances for Monday and Tuesday across central Alabama will be high, 70% and above. While a few rays of sunshine will be possible, expect skies to be mostly cloudy on both days. Once again, no widespread severe weather is expected, but a few storms may have strong downdraft winds and small hail. Monday's highs will be in the upper 70s to the upper 80s, while reaching the lower 80s to the lower 90s on Tuesday. The trough moves out of the area by Wednesday, which will make those overall rain chances drop to around 40% for Wednesday and Thursday. Both of these days will be your typical summertime days, a good bit of sunshine to start with a few scattered showers and storms developing during the afternoon to early evening hours. Highs on both days will be in the mid 80s to the lower 90s across the area. And not much change for Friday as scattered showers and storms will be possible during the afternoon to early evening hours. Before those form, it will be very warm to hot and very humid with a good bit of sunshine. Highs will be in the mid 80s to the lower 90s. And now, taking a look at the tropics. We were finally able to let Elsa go as she became post-tropical on late Friday afternoon and has moved away from the U.S. For now, the North Atlantic Ocean, Caribbean Sea, and the Gulf of Mexico is free from any tropical mischief and no new tropical cyclones are expected over the next five days. There will be two separate waves of Saharan dust moving over the tropical hotspots where you would expect tropical development to happen. The dust causes the air to become much drier than what tropical cyclones love to see to become organized and strengthened. Stronger vertical wind shear is usually present in the dusty air, which would also cause trouble for any tropical cyclones. That will do it for today's video. We'll have notes on the blog throughout the day. Bill Murray will produce the video for Sunday morning. I'm Scott Martin signing off for today. Have a great day, and remember, each day is a gift. Godspeed.